Seems like just yesterday when I was that gamer that cared absolutely nothing about a game side quest. To be honest, I was such an action junkie I barely paid any attention to the story that explained anything that I was doing in the game. All I knew was that I was killing a lot of people and I was having a lot of fun while doing it. Over the years, I've done second playthroughs of games and was astounded at how much of the game I missed during the first playthrough. In fact, when I played the original Mass Effect in 2007, I did none of the side missions. I did none of the missions for my crew because I assumed they were going to be boring. Fast forward today, we all know just how wrong that was. But at some point during the last 10 years, I've not only developed into a gamer with a great appreciation for a great story, I've also developed a great love for all kinds of exploration, whether it be the interior space of a ship, the inside of a building, or exploring a planet, I simply love exploration. But recently it seems like there are a high number of gamers who believe that if there's content in a game that's worthy of seeing, that content should be spoon fed to the player. In other words, if there's some incredible monument or incredible sighting in the game, it shouldn't be hidden away on what appears to be some desolate planet, and you can only run into it by chance through exploration. But Bethesda is a studio that rewards exploration. If you want to mainline the game, you can do that if you want to, but just understand that there will be an abundant amount of content that you will miss. This is why it's strange to hear people complaining about the thousand planets that's supposed to be in the game. Todd Howard made it perfectly clear that there will be a number of planets that will be story oriented and if you want to, you can stick within those planets if that's what your desire is. If you want to explore, there will be lots of planets for you to explore. He even stated that there will be scanners so that you can scan planets to see if there's anything on that planet of interest to you. If not, you can just keep it moving. Technically, the game was what I expected when they showed it. In fact, I would have been pleasantly surprised had it shown any better. In fact, one of my favorite YouTubers expressed my thoughts exactly. As a game on a late mend of a delay, it actually looks exactly where I expected it to be technically. It wasn't necessarily solid, but if it was solid now, they would have released it now. Some of the issues aside, Starfield looks like it could be exactly what I want from one of their games. We'll just have to wait and see, but what we saw was a damn step above what I was expecting. My thoughts exactly. The game was delayed. So it never occurred to me while watching the showing that, hey, what we're looking at right here is probably what we're gonna end up getting on release day. The thought just never occurred in my mind at all. So I was a bit surprised when I saw so many people voicing what seemed to be a little bit more than concern. I mean, it seemed to be really like fear. Like, yeah, there is a pretty good chance that that's what we might get. Is it possible that that's what we might get? Sure. I'm not going to guarantee anything, but the likelihood of it, the probability of it is very, very low. And look, I'm not telling you that when Starfield releases, it's going to be perfect. It's a very broad game. It's very ambitious. Of course, it's going to need some patches, but what we saw in the showing probably is not up to the quality that we're going to get when it releases. I don't think that Bethesda is going to release this game with game breaking glitches. I just don't believe it. Is it possible? Sure it is, but I simply don't believe it. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and end it right here, but this is only part one of two of my comments on this particular topic. But look, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. The YouTube algorithm is brutal, but look until next time, as usual guys, Stay safe.